Thank you for watching our videos. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. This is a sample video and if you want to get access to the full version, please visit our website www.rasaf.com. Thank you. So now it's uh, time to finalize this design. I'm going to design uh, matching circuits for input and output. So let's start from the output. We have this impedance. So I'm going to go to the uh, Smith chart. Smith chart matching. If you write here, it's going to bring you up. So you just have to print, uh, you just have to press enter. So you have this uh, symbol here. So we are going to use this in order to design. So then uh, the next step is you're going to go to tools, uh, Smith chart and update. Okay. So uh, there are some points that you have to be careful about this. Uh, the first one is uh, here we are going to use the frequency as 5 gigahertz and this is our uh, Z0 basically the characteristic impedance so you're going to define source and load impedance and this is where this part is actually tricky you have to be careful about this so so let's see what should we do for uh, output impedance for output impedance uh, this says ZL so we are going to match ZS to ZL we have to be uh, sure about the definitions of these two impedances ZL is the load impedance so so we are going to match uh, 36 plus J times 9 to 50, yes? So that's why uh, the determination is 50. So we are going to leave this on 50. And if you do lock load impedance, so uh, you, won't, uh, you won't be able to touch it. Sometimes by mistake you touch it and move these uh, points. That's why it's good to do lock uh, load impedance. So uh, you won't be able to move this. It's a basically good option used in ADS. So this is going to be 50 and but this one, this one is says it should be like a source impedance. This one is a source impedance at the output because this is our uh, output impedance can basically conjugate. We already put the conjugate value here. We are just going to put this as our ZS because we are matching from this impedance to 50. This is very important, maybe a little bit tricky, but be careful with the things. So at the output, I'm going to use 36 plus j times 9. So this is my output matching. So uh, now from here I can start doing matching as you see here and here. So uh, I can uh, start with some uh, transmission lines. Let's say uh, what, what kind of things we have. So I can use something like this. Then come here. So this should be okay for me. So what I did here is simple. I used one open stop. So this one open stop acts at the capacitor. As you see, as uh, when I add this open stop, I can remove this. Uh, so they let this come. So as you see, when I add this open stop, my impedance gets uh, capacitive because this is a capacitor. This acts as a capacitor. Then when I reach here, I can use one series stop to uh, go to go to my uh, basically desirable point. So unfortunately in this course, uh, I'm not covering the uh, theory behind uh, impedance matching. So how we can do a uh, hand calculation for impedance matching, but uh, we will have a microwave course. And, and in that course, I will do some uh, uh, hand calculation. I will do matchings uh, on Smith chart. Then we will confirm these examples using uh, this tool and ADS. So we are going to have both hand calculation and simulation in that course. So uh, we will talk more about the matching concept, how you can calculate uh, these impedances and how it works. So we better keep it for that course. In this course, we want to concentrate on uh, designing the uh, designing LNA using a tool. So uh, my impedance matching is ready. Uh, this is uh, easy. So I'm going to do build ADS circuit. There are two options. Uh, because when you say build ADS circuit, it puts the circuit inside this. So if I go in, you see, it's here. But uh, generally, I prefer to do something like that. I just uh, copy it, copy this too, copy, then I go out, I just paste it here, and I get rid of this one. So now let's see uh, how how is uh, our. So now let's see how does our matching circuit work. So I'm going to erase this and put this matching circuit here ok 
connect to my output and here uh, I'm going to have 50 ohms because now that's the whole, actually the whole purpose of designing matching circuit let's see let's